Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Park, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, August 19th. Hope you guys have a great morning so far. Enjoyed the weekend. Uh, and welcome back to school for those who are starting uh, school this week. Hey, we uh, got a light day today. Uh, nothing on the economic calendar uh, scheduled for today. Uh, so we'll jump over to the headline news. Stocks are up today. Uh, Dow is up uh, pretty close, about 300. It closed at 300 on Friday. A lot of it is... Um, political talk that's out there. Uh, President and his staff over the weekend were kind of downplaying uh, recession talks, um, You know, that basically saying that rates were coming down. Uh, we, we got global stimulus going on here. We got, uh, you know, China's lowering their rates. Uh, you know, chi- uh, basically Germany said they're going to kick in, I think, about $55 billion into stimulus on their country. So a lot of people are trying to create some type of stimulus uh, packages. And uh, one of the Staff uh, for President Trump also talked about um, possibly a 10% uh, tax cut uh, for the middle earn- income earners. So that would obviously play well for those who are in that uh, range there. Uh, we got a lot of different things uh, happening. So those are kind of different things that they're kind of downplaying that, uh, you know, kind of downplaying any possible recessionary talks, uh, even though we hit the inversion, which was the major uh, conversation piece last week. So uh, with that in mind, uh, one of the big things in uh, coming up this weekend will be, or not weekend, will be actually Thursday or Friday. Uh, the central banks and uh, will be, or, you know, the Fed will be meeting in uh, Jackson Hole Thursday and Friday, and uh, Bernanke, or not Bernanke, excuse me, uh, Powell will be speaking. The Fed chair will be speaking over there, so we'll get the li- real live time. This could be a big uh, uh, moment here, primarily because we are kind of a rate declining. Uh, possibility here and we want to hear what he says if uh, any possibility of a rate cut in September's uh, meetings. So this is going to be again very important. A lot of people are going to be listening to him see what happens. This could uh, change the markets or be a catalyst for the markets as to one direction or next. Uh, this could be a big thing. Uh, of course another thing that the president was talking about was you know that there's two ongoing conversations with uh, China and trying to get a, negotiate, a trade negotiation completed with them. So these are all uh, factors that he's playing into to kind of try to help downplay the talk of a possible recession in the near future here. So let's see how this is playing out on the bond market. Bond market, excuse me, uh, are down a little bit. We're down about 14 basis points. Will translate to a little worse pricing today. We're kind of in the middle range here between you know ceiling and floor. Uh, so we're down again about 14 basis points. Uh, we do got here in the yields. Uh, yields are starting to break up. We did challenge the first level uh, ceiling resistance on Friday, but however, it skipped that, and now it's trying to fight the second one. We're sitting right now at about 1.6, uh, so just barely on top of that uh, that line, of, uh, which could become a floor support if it continues its uh, breakthrough or not. So we'll have to kind of wait and see how this plays out. But this week, so far, um, you know, it's more geopolitical. Are taking the center stage. We don't have a lot of data to kind of alter it, but uh, again, it's the geopolitical news right now that's kind of taking center stage that's kind of moving the stock market uh, and also affecting bond, mortgage backed securities and yields here. All right, so that's pretty much a wrap, but if you guys are looking to buy or refinance, please feel free to reach out. The best way to reach me is uh, DM me or direct message me. Uh, I am a loan officer and my company, CMG Financial, uh, does service all 50 states. Uh, we do have all your loans out there from jumbo to conventional to FHA, VA, USD, we also have loans that a lot of people do not have, like your big banks. Uh, loans specific for real estate investors to bank statement loan bank statement loan, loan programs that are more applicable towards uh, self-employed borrowers. But not only self-employed, but it's more applicable to those folks. We got foreign national loans. Also, we got our uh, our own loan programs that nobody else offers, like the All in One Loan Program, which is a fantastic loan program for those who have cash flow and want to pay off the mortgage. Uh, faster without having to change their lifestyle. They keep the same uh, patterns as well as uh, basically get off much sooner. Some of the people I'm working with currently are able to pay it off five to seven years and save themselves several hundred thousand dollars in uh, interest payments as a result. Uh, if you're interested in that, please go ahead and mess, direct message to me. We can certainly give work with you on a scenario so you can compare, see if it provides a benefit for you. Uh, we also have Home Fund It, which is a great down payment program for not only first-time home buyers, but it could be great for somebody who wants to use it as a wedding registry. It could be great for those who are have a life-altering, uh, life-altering uh, 
uh, scenario in their life. Like, for example, we, you know, sometimes we're reaching these areas where natural disasters happen, like wildfires, to hurricanes, to tornadoes, different things like that. Uh, this could be a program to help those uh, to buy another home or sp those who have been displaced from their career home and help them to find that next home on there, as well as people who got through divorce where one spouse keeps the house property and the other now has to look for another property, this could be a program to help them with that next down payment of the next property. So uh, with all that in mind, uh, again, um, feel free to reach out to me anytime. The best way to reach me is uh, direct messaging me. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to catching you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye.